Hey, so tomorrow I go to the orthodontist and uh, I'm right close to the seven month mark from when I started. And, uh, and I got this wire put in 12 weeks ago. It's a stainless steel wire. Give you a look. And uh, so this was put in 12 weeks ago. Uh, six weeks ago, they took this wire out, bent it, and put it back in. Uh, so my ortho says tomorrow may be my last visit uh, before I get my braces taken off and, and then the Invisalign put on. So uh, he said I'd go in, get an evaluation, and then if, that's, if I am checking out, then two weeks from now, then he'll pull these braces off and start the Invisalign process. Or I can continue on with the braces for a couple more months and just be finish start to finish with the braces which actually I'm considering doing now that my mouth and my cheeks and my speech and my eating patterns have all gotten used to the braces and uh, and that would save me a lot of money if I didn't do a whole round of Invisalign and the braces because it's paying for two separate uh, complete treatments so uh, one thing that I want to stress in this uh, update is just how important getting uh, your orthodontist is or, or choosing the right orthodontist because when they pulled this wire out when he pulled this wire out it's just a stainless steel wire and he has to tweak it to make your, your teeth uh, all of our mouths are a little bit different uh, to make your teeth uh, move in the way that he wants it because the uh, the standard alignment with the brackets and the wire will only take you so far he's got to tweak it so he took the wire out and was tweaking it with his needle nose pl pliers and his hands uh, right there in the orthodontics office uh, like right in front of me so it wasn't a machine that did it it wasn't some calibration uh, with some micrometers or whatever on my teeth it was just him with some pliers bending it and uh, I'm pretty sure that's what the standard uh, mode of operation is for the last couple months of having Damon so uh, just want to stress again the ortho that you choose make sure you trust them completely because it is a form of artistry getting these teeth to line up perfectly uh, it's not so much just the science of a plus b equals c i guess that's more of a formula um, so uh, also my teeth now uh, at the seven month mark are touching both front and back so it's nice because i can kind of actually eat normal people food i've been eating some chips and salsa don't tell my orthodontist i'm not supposed to be eating chips but i've been eating chips and salsa some meat um, you know just normal people food on regular basis and only have soup only when I want to. So as you can see, my teeth are touching front and back now. It's pretty awesome. Um, I wanted to show you the wires. I kept my uh, my wires from my last change. Here is a, a Damon wire. Um, it's a titanium wire, titanium nickel oxide, I want to say. And uh, as you can see, this is the ones that they'll start you off with. And they're spring, they're spring formed. So uh, this is the Damon system in itself is just the wires that actually spring to the correct position as opposed to traditional braces where it's uh, more of a straight wire and the rubber bands on your teeth are what form your teeth to the correct arc and uh, on Damon it's it's a straight and then these little ni little niches of uh, of metal up there the top middle that's just to show the orthos where center is on on the arc here uh, so if you want to know more about that just shoot me a comment but that's the actual wire uh, from the the first or second change and this is my uh, my toothbrush here and it's pretty gnarly here's actually uh, yeah, <laughs> so I've ground this guy down to a nub. So if you get one of these, uh, one of these ions, I think they're called. Um, just make sure you get some extra ch changes of toothbrush heads, just because you rip through these with trying to grind your metal. And I've gotten into the habit of uh, brushing my teeth four or five times a day, sometimes even more when I'm at work. I just now I just can't even stand to have anything that's uh, not fresh in my mouth because I force myself to brush my teeth, you know, four times a day and now it's just become habit um, so I'll let you know on the next visit goes whether I'm going to keep the braces or uh, or switch over to Invisalign and uh, if you have any questions or comments just do them below and I also will show some photos of my last couple visits now boom Ooh, look at those those are nice getting straighter thanks if you have any comments or would like to subscribe do that if not well then don't do it Bye.